extraordinary tennis was played tonight in Portland. Well, that's one way to put it. It featured our very own Stan Wilson. Let's go courtside. Tonight's highly publicized court clash between KEX disc jockey Jimmy Hollister and KATU newsman Stan Wilson was preceded by a doubles match. Grandfathers Ed Erlinger, 81, and Harold Parrott, 74, beat 12-year-olds Beth Balin and Brett Darrow, 6-3. Then the moment of decision, the Wilson-Hollister grudge match, moderately close to center court. The crowd of about 500 can barely contain itself. Wilson wins the toss, serves, faults. Perhaps it was a distraction from Team Hollister ball person Darcel. Yet, Wilson rebounds. He's aggressive, quick, clearly Wimbledon material. Stan made me say that. He even yelled at the judge. Hollister remains cool, controlled, trailing three games to two. Then, Wilson injures himself, has to be carried from the court. A substitute hot rods in, six-year-old Jeremy Parrott. Hollister shows signs of tension. Yet, despite Jeremy's strong performance, Hollister takes the game. Wilson comes back, match tied. A ball person for Team Wilson is Portland Commissioner Mildred Schwab, armed with sneakers and a police dog. This was grueling gamesmanship. Grueling, especially for the crowd. Finally, it stopped after a call from the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Tennis. Wilson wins, 6-4, 6-2. And the real winner was the American Kidney Association, which nets more than $1,000 from tonight's fundraiser at Eastmoreland Racquet Club. The Prevention of Cruelty to Tennis, I like You've it. You've got it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dan.